Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, I think I've teased you guys enough uh, with, with pictures of this. So this is the, the new motor that is going in the 70 Chevy truck that uh, we picked up. This is a uh, a blueprint motor, uh, uh, 400 uh, cubic inches. Um, it is dynoed uh, 500 some horse, 500 some foot pounds of torque. So it's uh, it's a it's a stout little piece, guys. Um, it's got uh, I believe this is blueprints block. Uh, it's got blueprints uh, heads on it. Uh, I'm not sure the intake, maybe it's their intake too. Um, it is the newer style, uh, so it, it bolts straight down, front and back. Uh, this comes with a Holley uh, 850 carb, so you know that it means, it means business. Uh, this is what they call, I think, fully dressed, where it's got um, valve covers, it's got the Timing chain cover, intake, carb, uh, distributor. Um, this thing is, is almost ready to run, guys. Few things, balancer, um, headers, uh, plug wires, um, thermostat, water neck, stuff like that. But, yeah, can't I can't wait to uh, get this thing in the truck. It's not going to happen anytime soon, guys. I can't... Uh, or I'm not going to stop driving the truck until uh, I'm, I'm forced to uh, stop driving it. So, uh, plus I need a transmission. I'm going to actually get a, a built Turbo 350 uh, for this. This truck actually has a 205 transfer case. I think I've said that before. Um, it is not like an original transfer case um, I, I just kind of glanced at it when I bought the truck and I kind of figured it was a 205 uh, started doing some research and actually in 1970 they didn't have the 205 or the 205 wasn't in this truck so I actually crawled under there um, to make sure it, it is a 205 but I think it's out of a 76 uh, Chevy truck and the, the, the four-speed transmission might be from a 76 uh, truck as well. I didn't really get all the numbers and stuff off of that. So not real sure. I do know it's a 205 and I've been driving this thing so um, and it feels good. So I know I got a, a good 205 transfer case in this thing. Those are awesome transfer cases, gear driven, super, super strong. So um yeah that's kind of my plans i have a um i have an adapter uh that's gonna uh allow me to bolt that 205 transfer case behind a turbo 350 i got an adapter from um, advanced adapters i believe it was so i have that piece um just kind of waiting for the the transmission i guess um, when you get um, a, a blueprint engine um, you get an um, installation guide, they call it, uh, telling you what you need to do. They've got uh, recommended parts here. Of course, they want you to run. They've got uh, balancers and uh, flywheels and stuff like that that they want you to run. Um, they're, they're brands, but I don't know if I'm going to go with their brands or not, but we'll see. Um, that is the uh, part number of the engine that I have. Uh, they recommend an NGK, uh, the BKR5E uh, with a 35 thousandths gap. Um, a balancer, again, this is their balancer. Um, it's a, they want an 
uh, an in internally balanced uh, balancer and then they want a uh, a late a later model um, externally balanced flywheel or flex plate on this 400 which I thought was was kind of interesting um, and then they recommend a 2400 plus um, RPM stall um, so I gotta I gotta probably call them um, I don't want like a super high stall I want I want the truck to feel relatively stock uh, so yeah we'll see I'll probably end up calling them and uh, when I get all the parts I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly what I what I went with and why um, also comes with a dyno sheet because this thing is uh, they put every engine they have I guess on a dyno and uh, this is uh, this is what this engine did um, your max is uh, uh, 511 horse 536 foot-pounds of torque um, I guess those numbers don't really mean a whole lot you gotta kind of look at where the numbers actually happen um, horsepower down low isn't um, all that great you're looking at 300 300 horse um, 3,000 rpm but that that ain't that ain't bad guys uh, the real number right here the uh, torque you're looking at um, over 500 foot-pounds of torque at, at 3,000 rpm here so I mean that is that is stump pulling torque uh, this thing should should just move guys it should really move why did I buy a 400 because actually they have all kinds of I think you can get like a, a 350 and a, and a you, I was looking at the 383 uh, they got a they even have a 396 um, but why the 400 well it, it, this is kind of the dream motor I would say that was that would be for this truck um, I was really looking at that 383 it, it, it was really uh, kind of cost effective and everything but they didn't have uh, they didn't put a 383 in these back in the day guys um, it was a 350 uh, actually a 305 350 and a 400 uh, that's why I wanted the 400 the, I got an emblem here this is a reproduction of of what they had back in 70 now actually I have a this is a real 70 uh, brochure you couldn't actually get a the 400 in the four-wheel drive trucks uh, the 350 was the only engine offered in the four-wheel drive but I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make an exception you could have got the 400 in uh, I think any of the two-wheel drive models um, you could have got the 400 motor so that is why um, I wanted to go with a 400 now if I had any any thoughts in my head of selling this truck I probably would have just gone with a 350 because like I said real cost effective they have the 350s they have the good power um, but uh, this truck um, is not gonna go anywhere so I mean this thing it might go somewhere if I die or something but as long as I'm alive uh, the, the truck ain't going anywhere so that's kind of why I splurged and got kind of what I consider the dream motor uh, for this build so um, kind of a kind of a late birthday present to myself I guess okay so while I have this little brochure out um, I'll show you a little bit of it here I'll show you the engine um, they had the, the 250 and the 292 uh, straight six motors 
And I guess it, I guess it's a 307, a 350, and a 400. I thought it was a 305, but they're calling it a 307 and 70. Um, you could actually you could actually get the four-wheel drive pickup with a 250 uh, straight six. So um, I guess we can we'll look at the the numbers here. Uh, the 400 uh, made uh, what is that 400 uh, foot pounds of torque at 3,200 RPM, uh, 310 horse at uh, 4,800. Um, nine to one compression, uh, which, which ain't bad. It's it's actually not bad. 1970 that was. Uh, kind of before everything went bad but um, this this uh, 400 I think it's 10 uh, 10 10 to 1 compression or something like 10 and a half to 1 compression so it's, it's got um, the little higher compression uh, they recommend at least 91 octane uh, fuel for this motor um, but yeah, what is that? It's uh, 310 at 4,800 RPM. Uh, 4,800 RPM. This has got 470 horse. And then uh, we got what? 400. They got, a, they got a gross and a net. I'm taking the gross is the... the at the flywheel horsepower. So the torque, uh, 400 at 3,200 RPM, and this has got um, 3,200 RPM. This has got 509 foot-pounds of torque. So, so this motor will would blow away <laughs> the 400 from back in the day. But yeah, I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna paint this thing up um, like like uh, all Chevy orange, kind of like what it would have been, kind of give it a, a kind of factory appearance or not. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or leave the aluminum heads exposed or haven't decided all that yet. I've got some time. Like I said, I can't install the motor really anytime soon, so. I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm gonna grab a few parts here and there, uh, the parts that I need uh, for this thing. And then eventually gotta get that Turbo 350, but uh, a few more things on uh, a new crate motor, what, what uh, Blueprint rec recommends. Uh, there's a break-in oil they want you to run. Uh, they have some recommended oils they, uh, they want you to run for, for 500 miles. Um, and they say no synthetic oils uh, for I think six, six or six or nine thousand miles. Um, no synthetic oils. They want they want everything to to break in uh, with uh, just conventional oil. Um, so that's uh, something that uh, you got to be aware of. I'll. Uh, you know, continue to do videos on this, guys, to to kind of let you know uh, my experience on this. But this is um, this is my first crate motor. I mean, I've never never been able to to get a crate motor for any any of my projects I've ever done. So this is pretty neat. I've gotten a few motors out of junkyards and and uh, put them back together. But uh, this is my first brand new. Uh, crate motor so I'm pretty excited so I guess guys um, that's gonna do it for this one this might be a long video but uh, I was trying to trying to give you as much information uh, about the motor here and about my plans and everything so um, I guess this is kind of a babbling video but I'm I'm really excited uh, about this guys really really excited um, yeah I guess uh, that's about all I can think of uh, right now uh, 
to put in this video. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed enjoyed it. I will see you guys.